Today we are traveling from Dubai to Dublin, Ireland. So join us in the trip. We were traveling with the Emirates EK161, a Boeing B77W. The flight was from Terminal 3 Dubai International Airport and it was my first time here. I was very excited and the outsides already had impressed me. The insides were very gorgeous. The walls were very detailed and the floor tiling was also done quite nice. The airport was well maintained and the ceiling was the prettiest to look at. Also notice that this airport had self-service check-in and self-luggage baggage drop options which was quite rare in the nation airport to see. Two seconds later. The check-in was very easy and smoothly done. There was no or little rush at the airport and the staff were really very friendly. They joked around, made us laugh and that is the best part about Emirates. I'll say that the duty free of the new airport wasn't that great and the restaurants weren't that either. There were very few or less options there with not many big brands as McDonald's, KFC or as such. Just a few restaurants, they were highly costly and had no taste in them at all. After the long tiring walk, we thought to take a rest somewhere, grab something. But what we found was just a raw chicken wrap with a bottle of water just for 7180, not recommended at all. It was finally the time to board the flight, at our gate, of course. And there in front of us was the flight. Three sections, first business and economy, and we were the economy people. I had sat on the seat. Instantly disappointed, the ice was far from what Emirates had promised us. It was old, low resolution, slow, and the touchscreen did not work fine on it. It was awful. There was no twinkle on the ceilings, the ice was broken, we were robbed by Emirates, literally robbed. Emirates did not give what it said. To be honest, the touchscreen was very bad and the remote was something that I could never use. It was very old and it needed an upgrade for sure. The screen was at least my hand big, the remote was old, quite small and there were USB outlets and a normal outlet, universal outlet with headphone jacks, there was a cup holder and a very tough to open food tray, a regular standard food tray. We were also provided with pillows and blankets and the headphone I really did not like because it was very small. There was really bad leg space speaking as a 6 feet person, really bad. It had adjustable headrest but the seat quality was really bad and it was very narrow, very uncomfortable to be sure. It had a front and bottom camera, no top camera sadly, but I'm happy with what I have. It was really very entertaining in middle flight when we crossed the Alps, so it was quite good overall I'd say. I starts for information, communications and entertainment. Let's begin with information. So it has live news headlines, Emirates said its own shopping and what's on is uh, what's on your flight and help. You've also top attractions, discover Dubai, flying Emirates in today's flight and that's all of information. And then we have the communication. It has a passenger survey, mobile phone, USB media player, seat to seat call which did not work for me, in seat power and Wi-Fi, which is good. Now is the entertainment tab which is very fun to explore. It did movies, TV, podcasts and audio, ice, TV, live, Dubai and music. First I thought to go with the movies. Uh, oops. Let's see. Yes, so it did new releases, award winners, kids and visiting world, documentaries, must see classic, Star Wars, New Arabic, Indian region, classic Bollywood, Pakistan, Parsi. I don't know how much I could say. It was a lot, to be honest, with many genres, languages and different areas and regions of movies. It is quite good for a flight, but as a movie geek, not enough for me. I'm a movie geek, to be honest. Next is the TV. It also had many series which to watch, but on a 7-hour flight, I don't know if that's good for your eyes. The ice was just wonderful, except the remote and the old bad touchscreen which acted like a double click mouse, something like that. As I had finished the recording, pushback happened and I was glad that it did because the insides were boiling. 
it was really hot. And so had also begun the emergency flight video. I recommend all of you to watch it because it saves your life in case of an emergency. Uh, hopefully I think? Yes it does, I'm sure about that. It surely does save your life during an emergency. Now let's talk about the flight aesthetics. There were no lights on the ceilings, twinkle twinkle stars. The walls were painted with sand dune textures and the seat was colourful I'd say. The material wasn't great but it was okay. Sooner than I could realise we were on the runway. years later. This was the most beautiful part of the entire trip. These mountains were just beautiful. It was somewhere near Turkey. I couldn't record more of the food just except this clip but it was chicken mashed potatoes and the food was just disgusting. Truly speaking, the chicken was too hot and many of the parts were even overcooked and somewhat raw. And we were landing. It was very close to landing. We were around UK, flying around London and into the Irish Sea. But we were very close to landing and extremely excited too. We had officially landed, it was wonderful, the weather was wonderful and the trip was wonderful except we were crammed with the small space emirates had given us. Well that's alright, we fly it once or twice in a year I'd say. Thanks a lot for watching the video, make sure you have liked, share, subscribe and make sure to send this to your friends who are a travelling geek like I am. <laughs>